Hello everybody, Lurgs here, welcome to my channel and today it's how to prime and commission the Myra Advanced Thermostatic Electric Shower and we'll be doing that on this model shown here. This is the older model of the Myra Advanced Thermostatic and that's the one that I've just removed and there's a link above now about how to prime and commission that shower as the procedure is slightly different. This video isn't how to install the Myra Advanced Shower, you'll need a plumber and an electrician for that. This is literally just how to prime it and do the post installation procedure. Failure to prime the shower appliance will seriously affect the shower performance. Right, let's get cracking. Make sure that the shower is switched off at the electrical supply and just to be double safe you can also switch it off at your RCD switch. As I mentioned earlier this shower has already been installed by a plumber and an electrician. So just make sure that your water supply is on. And then I'm just going to connect the shower hose first. Only ever do this hand tight. And now we're going to prime the shower. Make sure the electricity is definitely off for this. You do not need the electricity on. And to prime the shower, we'll be pushing down this bleed button three times. And I'll be showing this all in real time. Push that button down and let the water come out of the shower hose for 10 to 15 seconds. There's a rubber washer at the end of the shower hose. Make sure that doesn't pop out. Release the button and let the water fully drain out of the shower hose. Then press it for a second time, hold it down for 10 to 15 seconds. And then release, let the water finish draining. And then a third and final time, hold that button down. 10 to 15 seconds. Now you will get some water dripping out of where this button is and that's completely normal. Just you need to remember to mop that up out of the base of the shower and we'll do that in a moment. And that is the shower primed. This is where the water leaks out so just take a rag or a small sponge and just make sure that's nice and dry before we put all the covers back on. Whilst I'm doing that, there's a link above now about how to keep your curtains super smooth on the curtain rails so they don't stick. That's a really top tip. Remember to put the electrical supply cover back in. This literally just slides straight in. You can set the maximum temperature for the user, but the factory setting is 48 degrees centigrade, and I'm just gonna leave it at that. But you can adjust that by flicking the switches on the inside of the front panel. And that's where the switches are that you can adjust for the temperature. I'm just gonna leave them as they are. Now we're ready to put the front panel onto the shower. These gaps at the top and the bottom are where your entry routes are for your pipe work so if it comes in at the top you don't have that bit there so if it doesn't come in at the top you can put a cover on that and it comes with the covers likewise if it comes in at the bottom then you won't need a cover on that so just clip in the covers that you need and whilst i'm doing that there's a link above now on how to remove mold from your silicon sealant in your bathroom with literally no scrubbing at all that is an amazing tip and it works so well it's definitely worth checking that out after this video is finished now we just need to plug the ribbon into the front panel this can only go in one way it's got a little divot on the top should just go in very easily Just push that in nice and parallel, get a good connection. There we go, fabulous. Now when you install the front panel, make sure you don't bend that ribbon. It goes in at the top first, so put the top part in first, and then push the bottom part down. And then you lock it in with this base plate screw at the bottom here. As with all screws, just hand tighten it first. Once it's caught the thread, then you can take your screwdriver and just tighten it up all the way. Now they recommend when installing a shower, don't put any silicon around the cover. Otherwise you won't be able to remove it for any maintenance. Now let's install the shower head. Just hand tighten this. And once we've done that, we're ready to do the post installation procedure 
or sometimes they call it commissioning of the shower. And we'll go through the exact procedure and do it all in real time so you can see how long the procedure takes. Remember to turn the electricity on. If you turn the RCD switch off, remember to turn that back on. Then switch the shower on at the switch. Now turn it round to complete cold, then to full hot, then complete cold again. What you do now is press the start stop button. And the shower will come on and this is on fully cold. The white start stop and blue status light will pulse. And then after a short while, those lights will go solid. And let this run for at least a minute, so at least 60 seconds. This is all part of the post installation procedure, so just let that run. Whilst we're watching this, there's a link above now about how to clean your UPVC guttering so it stays clean for much longer. Really good tip. Now, as I mentioned earlier, I'm just going to let this run in real time so you can see how long the commissioning takes. So we're letting this run for at least a minute on fully cold. Okay, that's just over a minute. So now press the start stop button. Let the water fully drain out of the shower head. Fabulous. Once the water has fully drained from the shower head, then we're turning the power to the shower off. So turn the power off. Then turn it back on again. And now if you set the temperature dial round to number eight, press the start stop button to start the shower again. The white start stop light and the orange status light will pulse and this may take a little while. And as soon as they've stopped pulsing and go to a solid light, we're ready for the next part of the procedure. So you can see there the start stop like is pulsing. Now it's stopped. Turn it round to the maximum temperature and let that continue to run for a further minute. So we'll just wait for that in real time. Whilst I'm doing that, there's a link above now about how to defrost your freezer easily in under 15 minutes. And the temperature of this water is super hot. It's at the maximum temperature of 48 degrees centigrade. And that has now been over a minute, so I'm going to press the start stop button to stop the shower. Make sure the water completely drains out of the shower head before you isolate any power, as this allows water to purge from the heater tank. Then I'm going to turn it around to the desired setting, which is about six and a half. Then you can switch the shower off. If 
you've got any fault errors come up, you can have a look in your manual. There should be a fault diagnosis page. You can try repriming your shower or recommissioning it. But hopefully that's all worked for you for the Myra Advanced Thermostatic Electric Shower. And I tell you what, I definitely, definitely fancy a lovely cup of tea after all that hard work. And after all that hard work, it's time for a lovely cup of tea. Oh, I hope you found that useful. Up here is a link on how to stop your curtains from sticking on the curtain rails. Really good tip. And on this side is how to clean your UPVC guttering so it stays clean. Thank you for visiting my channel, everyone. I really, really appreciate it.